Hey guys, we have been given an equation and we're being asked to graph the parabola that goes along with this equation, okay? Um, we are currently in vertex form, okay? If you are looking at yours and you're like, mine is not in vertex form, I'll link a video for you in the corner, okay? All right, but we are in ver vertex form. The cool thing about this is when we are being asked to graph a parabola, we have a cool thing called a parent graph, okay? So if you were being asked just to graph y equals x squared, this is what your graph would look like, okay? But you're like, lady, I'm not being asked to graph that. I'm being asked to graph something that might look something like this, right? So the cool news is these two graphs are very much related, okay? And I can use this graph to figure out what this one looks like, okay? And since we're in vertex form, it is very helpful, okay? So... If this is a lot of words and you don't like it, just listen to the words coming out of my mouth instead of reading them, okay? So the number, if there is a number out front, in front of your parentheses, okay, that number will affect two things, okay? If it's positive, your parabola is opening up. If it's negative, your parabola opens down, kind of like a frowny face, okay? If there is a number or a fraction in front of it, that affects what your parabola looks like. And let me show you. So remember our parent graph. Oh, it's so nice. Now look at these guys. Okay. That blue one is that same parent graph I just showed you. Okay. If you look at the green, you see there's a four there. And do you notice how the green graph is just like, it's kind of, what is the word guys? They say stretched. Okay. <laughs> stretch. It's stretched. If you can see that it's kind of taller. And then if you look at the red one where there's a fraction out front, you see how that one's just like, they, they you like to use the word compressed. It's like flatter. It's still a parabola, but it's not this exactly the same, right? So that is how that number out front affects what your parabola looks like, okay? And then these numbers shift where the vertex is, okay? So this number here, tells you how far to the right or left the vertex is shifted. And you actually do opposite of the sign. So when you see that negative four, you might think, oh, to the left four. But you actually do opposite of the sign. So we are going to go to the right four, okay? And I forgot to say that this three um, tells me we're going to have a uh, stretch, which we will figure out exactly what that looks like in a second, okay? And this number being added or subtracted on the back tells me how much my graph is shifted up or down. And this one you do stick with the sign. So that plus five tells me we're gonna go up five, okay? Feeling good? So let's go ahead and see what this looks like, okay? My parent graph is at zero, zero, it's a vertex, right? This one, we're gonna to move to the right four, one, two, three, four and up five, one, two, three, four, five. So that is my new vertex. And I know it's gonna open up, right? Okay, couple things. Some teachers might be okay with you just drawing a U signifying you know that it goes up, it opens up, and then writing a little note that just says uh, that there's a vertical stretch of three, okay? I had some teachers that that's just how they wanted me to show that I understood that and they weren't too concerned about what my graph looked like as long as it was in the right direction, okay? But for now, we are going to actually plug in a point to kind of see what that looks like with that vertical stretch, okay? So let's go ahead and plug in three and see what happens, okay? So we're gonna plug in three for X. So I'm just gonna write X equals three here and we wanna see what Y equals when x is three, right? So y equals three times, we're plugging in three for x, three minus four squared plus five, okay? I'm gonna continue to solve this down. So I do what's inside the parentheses first. Guys, my kids are upstairs playing video games. So that's why you're jumping. <laughs> they've been on like a boss level or something and they've been very excited, okay? 3 minus 4 gives me negative 1 squared plus 5, okay? Y equals 3 times negative 1 squared is negative 1 times negative 1, so that gives me a positive 1, right? So it would be 3 times 1, which is just 3. So I'm just going to leave it as 3, and then we still have the plus 5. 
3 plus 5 gives me 8. Okay, so when I plugged in 3 for x, I got 8 for y. Okay, so I'm going to go 3 up to 8. There we go. There's another point. Now, I could go ahead and plug in 5, but since I have worked with parabolas, I know a little bit about them. I know that they are symmetrical, okay? So if I plug in 5, I'm going to get 8, okay? Now, if you're not super familiar with them yet, you haven't worked with them a lot, you can go ahead and plug that in to make sure, but I do know that when I plug in 5, I would also get 8, Okay, so then we can go ahead and draw a parabola. Remember, it's not a straight line. That's for absolute value. We are going to do a curved line, which can be kind of tricky when they're, <laughs> when it's sh stretched like this. Okay, pretend like that looks really good. Okay, woo, that side looked better than the other side. Anyway, <laughs> it's gonna look a little something like that, right? Oh, just pretend like that looks better. Okay. There we go. So our problem is going to look a little something like that. Okay. Hopefully this made sense. If you need some more problem videos, guess what? I've got lots. I'll link a playlist for you. Thanks. Bye.